Good morning, Reverend Father, respected sister, most revered teachers, and all my dear Franciscans. My heartfelt wishes of this Independence Day to you. When the British left us in 1947, India was a country devoid of resources and had been plundered. But look where we have come today. We are a country, 1.3 billion people strong. We can boast of being a nuclear power, and our ISRO is probably the only space agency to which even SpaceX looks up. Yes, we have had our fair share of troubles in the past. Yes, we have had to fight civil wars. And yes, we have had to fight wars with our neighbors. But just like we are fighting this COVID-19 pandemic together, we have and we always will emerge strong together as independent Indians on the other side. At this time, I may also remind you that we, the youth, us Franciscans, we are the greatest asset of the country. It lies on our shoulders to take the country forward. It lies on us so that in 27 years, when India celebrates 100 years as an independent country, we no longer have the blemish of being a developing nation, but rather we can boast of being a developed nation and not just Independence Day. Let every day remind you of what it takes and what it will take to make India a nation which is truly to reckon with. Jai Hind! Dear teachers, students and my dear parents, very good morning to all of you. Today we celebrate 74th Independence Day of our nation. On this joyful occasion, I convey my greetings and best wishes for all of you and pray for peace, progress and prosperity of our nation. On this auspicious day, 73 years ago, India attained freedom from colonial rule and the citizens of our country became the masters of their destiny. The struggle for independence began with the first war of independence 1857. This revolt sowed the seed for new era and instilled in every citizen of our country the patriotic feelings. Thereafter, we had non-cooperation movements in 1920, civil disobedience movement in 1930 and Quit India movement in 1942. All these movements became a mass movement whereby every citizen of our country participated in order to attain freedom for our nation. Since many years have been passed, today we need to remember 
the great sacrifice done by our leaders who shed their blood for our nation and got freedom for us today we are really enjoying our freedom one of the most important thing that we need to remember today is the weapon that was used during the freedom struggle that is non violence in the freedom struggle even every religion is taught the weapon of non violence mahatma gandhi adopted this weapon for the freedom struggle we attain freedom not by aggressive method but by assertive method since 1947 despite of all problems and challenges the problems like poverty illiteracy corruption terrorism today our country is attacked by territorial integrity of india but still we uphold the principle of democracy in the world today we have a concept of unity in diversity diverse in religion language and culture we uphold the tradition and values in our life and today the democracy is one of the most important aspect in the whole world and we uphold this principle of democracy indian democracy is one of the most important aspect in the world my dear citizens today we need to look into our own country past many years india has done tremendous progress in the field of agriculture industry and service sector we have achieved a lot in the informational technology and today our country is one of the most important country in maintaining international peace and security in the world our country has a friendly relationship with other other countries in the world our, our contribution is very great today being a citizen of our country we need to ask ourselves what i can do for our country in order to make a new india or making of new india it is the independence does not means that just a transfer of powers it means the quality of life enjoyed by each citizens enjoyed by every family and enjoyed by society as a whole therefore swami vivekanand in the awakening of india he has rightly said give me 100 energetic young men and i will transform india we need to play an important role in transforming india today we can see the people who are suffering people who are marginalized oppressed suppressed people of the society how can i uplift them so one has to say let my feet go to the people let my hands go and lift up those people who are suffering let my heart say that i love my people mahatma gandhi has rightly said live as if you were to die tomorrow and learn as if you have you were to live forever yes my dear citizens we need to enjoy our life only when we feel happy within ourselves happiness comes only when we serve the people so with these words my dear friends let us extend our service to the humanity and let us play an important role in building up of a new india with these words i wish you all once again happy independence day jai hind jai bharat